Muscle tissue is one of the four basic types of tissues in a human body. It's composed of elongated elements whose basic property is contractility. These elements are interconnected in order to synchronize and create movement. Amount of extracellular matrix is relatively small. There are three main types of muscle tissue, skeletal muscle tissue, cardiac muscle tissue, and smooth muscle tissue. Staining properties are rather straightforward. Structures within the muscle elements, such as proteins like myoglobin, actin, and myosin, as well as mitochondria, are eosinophilic. Thus, muscles are eosinophilic. Muscle elements contain a bar-shaped or so-called cigar-like shaped nuclei in their cytoplasms. Skeletal muscle is responsible for voluntary movement of our body and its parts. Basic unit of a skeletal muscle tissue is a muscle fiber. Muscle fiber is a multinucleated element or a syncytium. During development, cells called myoblasts fuse together in order to create a muscle fiber. Muscle fiber is stuffed with myofibrils, which are very regularly arranged bundles of cytoskeletal filaments, so-called myofilaments. Myofibrils push the nucleus to the periphery of the fiber. Regular arrangement of myofibrils creates striations that can be seen in longitudinal sections in light microscopy. Cross sections of myofibrils resemble small eosinophilic dots within muscle fibers, 1 to 2 micrometers in diameter. We can appreciate peripheral localization of nuclei in cross sections as well. Length of muscle fibers ranges from millimeters to tens of centimeters. Just imagine how long your biceps is. On the other hand, diameter is much smaller, just tens of micrometers. Cardiac muscle tissue makes up our myocardium, the muscular layer of our heart. Its contraction is rhythmical, without any voluntary control. Basic unit of cardiac muscle tissue is a cardiomyocyte. Cardiomyocytes are cylindrical, often branched cells with one nucleus in the middle. They contain myofibrils, but they are less numerous than in the skeletal muscle. In longitudinal sections, striations are thus less apparent, but still visible in higher magnifications. Cross-section of cardiomyocyte is similar to that of the skeletal muscle. We can appreciate small eosinophilic dots, which are myofibrils, but the difference is that nuclei are in the center. Length of cardiomyocytes is around 100 micrometers. Individual cardiomyocytes are interconnected by intercalated discs. They resemble stairs and are responsible for cellular communication and synchronization of muscle contraction. Cardiomyocytes are long-living cells. That is why they accumulate waste products in their tertiary lysosomes within their cytoplasm around the nucleus. This structure can be seen as a brown pigment called lipofuscin. Smooth muscle tissue makes up the walls of our internal organs and vessels. It's responsible for constriction of our vessels and for movement of contents inside our internal organs. Basic unit of smooth muscle tissue is a smooth muscle cell. It's a spindle-shaped element with one cigar-like shaped nucleus located in the center of the cell. It doesn't contain myofibrils, thus it's not a striated structure. In longitudinal sections we can appreciate a bunch of cells with nice nuclei, alas we cannot distinguish their borders. This is a cross-section in which we can see individual cells. Length of the smooth muscle cell can be up to 500 micrometers, but its diameter is as small as 6 micrometers. Now, let's sum it all up. Muscle tissue is responsible for the movement of the body or its parts. It's composed of elongated elements. In case of skeletal muscle, it's a muscle fiber, which is a sensation. Cardiac and smooth muscle tissue is made up of individual cells with intercellular contacts. Voluntary movement is a feature of exclusively skeletal muscle. Other two types cannot be moved by will. Striations are visible in muscle elements which contain myofibrils. I hope this video helped you grasp the basics of this intriguing topic. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more histology and pathology content.